Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to mount hi-hat cymbals on a stand. So if you take a look right here, I have my hi-hat cymbals and I have my stand. Now I'm going to show you how to mount them. So the first step is to remove the hi-hat stand clutch. So if you take a look right here, this part is the clutch. I'm simply going to loosen this wing nut right here and I can lift it right off. Now that I have removed the hi-hat clutch, I'm going to place it aside and I am going to actually mount my bottom hi-hat cymbal. So this is my bottom hi-hat cymbal. I'm going to simply slide it over top and place it flat down on the felt. And when we place our bottom cymbal, we are placing it sort of upside down with the bell down. So the bell is down and I'm placing it right on top of the felt. Now the next step is to mount my top hi-hat cymbal onto the hi-hat clutch. Oops. So the first step is to um, unscrew the uh, bottom portion of the hi-hat clutch. Now if you take a look, the bottom portion is a little piece that screws off, that loosens off, and it has a felt. So there are actually two separate felts, two separate pieces of felt right there. I'm going to loosen it and remove the bottom part of the clutch, this piece right over here, trying to not drop it. So that is the bottom part, and also one of the pieces of felt. I'm just going to try and pry it off right here. So I have removed the bottom portion, which is this piece that loosens off and the bottom piece of felt. And we are going to place our top hi-hat underneath this piece of felt right here. So I have my top hi-hat. I'm going to place it bell up. So basically um, the right side up. And I'm going to place the clutch through it. So now the felt is on top of the bell of the hi-hat symbol. I'm going to flip it around so I can see the inside or the underside of it. Then I am going to place the other felt that I removed right there. I'm going to place that felt right there. And then I'm going to simply screw on the piece that I removed. Okay, I'm just going to screw it on right now. So basically, the top hi-hat symbol is in between the two pieces of felt. As you can see, there is a piece of felt right there. I'm hoping that the camera can catch it. There's a piece of felt right there, and there's a piece of felt right there. Now that we have our hi-hat, our top hi-hat symbol mounted onto the clutch, I'm going to place it on top just like that. I'm going to slide it into place. And you may have to loosen the wing nut just to get it to slide into place completely. And there we go. Okay, now we're just going to make sure that they touch and everything is fine. And now the next step is to determine and set the top hi-hat at the point where I want it to stay when the pedal is not depressed, when the pedal is released. So there are two ways to do this. The first way is to actually raise the hi-hat to the point where you want it, let's say right there, and then tighten the wing nut, just like that. And as you can see, I have separated them. Now you can decide whether you want it to be higher or lower and so forth. Personally, I like my top hi-hat to sit lower, but I'm just showing you for the demonstration in this video. The second way to sort of set the top hi-hat in place and I'm just going to loosen this to sort of bring it back to where we were before I, I set it in place. So the second way is to actually depress the pedal. So as you can see, I'm pushing down the hi-hat pedal. So this is uh, the level where it is not pressed down at all. I'm going to push it down a little bit. And then as the pedal is pushed down a little bit, I'm going to tighten the wing nut. Now I can release the pedal, and as you can see, I have set the top hi-hat symbol in the place where I want it to be. And mounting hi-hat symbols on a hi-hat stand is as simple as that. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.